Hi, everyone. So today I would like to discuss the final project. So um, I would like to, you to submit the final project plan by November 19th. So this is uh, just a plan, so not the project itself. So a project plan is the one to one to two page summary of your data and analysis plan. So the idea is that I would like um, you to you know keep on the right track. So um, yeah, and also that I would like to see the data sample. So the attached data sample in additional pages or in a CSV or Microsoft Excel format. So if we, you, you use the Microsoft Excel format, just the keep the file as simple as possible. And the plan will not be graded, but they will be returned with comments. So um, if the plan is not feasible or not uh, well developed, then um, I will ask the, you to resubmit the plan. And the tips, the set, okay, so at first, the set a meaningful objective in the real world. So the this year, a recommended topic is the COVID-19, um, because the, we have a lot of data at all levels, cross-country data, and maybe the um, across cities or across states or across the zip code. And also if you put some effort, maybe you can get some uh, more specific data set from hospital. And topics such as sports statistics, housing market and the presidential election and the, some other um, public data are also popular. And it is very welcome to use the data from your research if you work somewhere or you have some projects in your lab. And collect or make a feasible plan to collect data. And the, at first, the, if the data are co collected from the first source, for example, that you can download the unemployment rate data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics or organize, and organize the data that to answer your original research question, for example, the combine the two data sources, then the, you will get the uh, higher evaluation. And the ready-made data such as um, data from data repository is acceptable, but they make the plan um, as you know, original as possible. And ready-made data from the data competition website such as Kaggle, is acceptable only if the, you set a different objective from the competition's objective. So the uh, idea is, the bottom line is that, the, okay, so data competition website have the good data sets, but the, uh, you have to set your own objective. So you cannot just follow the data um, competition itself. You can only use that data itself. And the most common mistake so that is the to develop a plan on summarized data. So you can find some articles and that article may have a summary of summary table of the 10,000 patients demographic information by occurrence of disease. But if that data has already been summarized in that report or paper, then you cannot analyze it again. So you need the original data, you need the raw data. You know, sometimes the summarized data for all states, then you have 50 observations, so you can analyze the data, but the, um, be careful. If the data has already been entirely summarized, you cannot analyze it. And the choose uh, right-sized data. So more than 300 predictors, more than 1 million observations, the more than three data sources may be too difficult to handle within a few weeks. And also consider how clean the data are. If the data are very clean, there's no problem to deal with, for example, 10,000 observations. But if data have duplications, many NAs, the many outliers, it's harder to analyze. So be careful. 
And the data set with independent observations is ideal for the final project because the most of the time that we deal with the independent as assumption in the statistical models in this course. So data with dependence, the, such as the time series data or multiple measurements from the uh, same individual. So these are more difficult to deal with. So you can still the, deal with the data, but the, just be careful that you have to um, you know, account for that data structure. For example, if you take the average of the temperature for 30 consecutive days, so that isn't as reliable as the 30 independent the data points. Yeah, and the consider statistical models which are appropriate for your research question. So you are doing regression or classification, or just you comp you are comparing several groups, or um, you you wanna analyze the relationship between two variables. So um, just the set a clear objective, especially if regression model, what is your response and what is your predictors, and make your own project plan. So think by yourself and don't mimic the sample project plan. So often the mistake is, oh, okay, so the deadline is tomorrow. So just the mimic the sample project plan. So that does not make any sense. Anyway, it's not graded. So the, just the make your original plan, which is logically sound. And the evaluation is the based on um, your everything. So the data quality and the quality of research question and appropriateness of, of data analysis and the votes, popular votes by students and the presentation. So introduction, so reader friendliness and the visualization. So if you use more tables and figures to have easy, you know, uh, presentation, I mean the two make a presentation which is easier to understand for listeners uh, then such a presentation is better. And basically the uh, presentation is 80 points at maximum out of 100. But uh, at competitive, on a competitive basis at most 35% of the students can get the 10 to 20 additional points. So just that I would like to you know, appreciate the you know, outstanding presentations and the, this is probably the best way to the grade. So everyone can get 80 points if everyone makes a good presentation, but the, still the outstanding presentation get more credits. And the presentation dates, the December 8th, 10th and 17th. So we have about 30 students, maybe 30, 31, uh, 32, maybe 31 students. So, um, and we will divide the class into two um, small groups. So the, each group have 15 or 16 students. So I would ask you to maybe one third of you to make a presentation on the first date. So about five, maybe four to six or four to five students maybe, and the maybe five or six students on the last day. And, and the, okay, so suppose the section A and B, and if you are in the section A, then you will uh, have to, you know, watch the all presentations in the group A. And if group B, then watch the presentation for group B. So I posted a survey, survey that to, I mean, on presentation dates. So just the, um, if you are unavailable on either of these dates, for example, you have a surgery on December 8th or that you are out of the country on December 17th, um, then um, you can cross out those dates. Just, but just uh, make sure that don't cross out uh, too many dates. And earlier presentation date, I will the, prioritize uh, to uh, make comments on your presentation. So the later date does not necessarily mean that you have more time to prepare. And the past final projects are available in Canvas. I posted the five the sample um, 
presentation files at that time, there are no videos. So they just in class presentations. So you can see the slides. Yeah, so this is an out the overview of the final project plan. I will explain a little more about how to make presentation later in this semester.